Hello everybody and welcome back to Elementify. So today I had pre-ordered a nice good old jumpstart box and I picked up a lovely Gwen de la Cour. Um, so first things first we've got our nice Scholar of the Trove flying whenever it enters the battlefield you may cast target instant sorcery or artifact card from your graveyard without paying its mana cost. If an instant or sorcery spell would cast this way, it would be put into your graveyard this way. Exile it instead. So, in my opinion, just start casting artifacts. So we can just keep recurrent. And maybe blinking it, maybe? Yeah, that might work. But, that was our box promo that we had gotten. So, <clears throat> without further ado, we're going to open ourselves up. Jumpstart. Even though, I mean, technically we're supposed to draft it, but I was only able to get one box, so, for right now. So hopefully I'll be able to get some later on, but I will see. Because these packs are supposed to be loaded with so many goodies. Alright, mix and match for Maximum Mayhem. They are, let's see, let's see this jumps in. <clears throat> First, open all four of your jump starter boosters. Don't open the packs inside. Each pack has a theme, combine them, and battle. All right. So, all right, everybody. Listen, you know what? We will actually take these out of their things, and we'll probably actually just... <clears throat> open them up and see if we can't see if we don't get a whole bunch of them that are maybe the same you can see because i think they're a package inside of a package okay, let's, let's move these right to there let's see if these are packages inside of packages they are chandra All right. we got, eh. sorry about that we got Chandra for the first one. Spirits. Garuk. Oh, wow. Let's stick those together. Yeah. Let's, you know what? Let's just open ourselves a whole bunch of these. And heavy armored. Let's just open all of them. How about that? Yeah. Sound good with you guys. Vampires. Actually, let's just leave these in the orders in which they come out. Just opposite. Flip-flops a little. Is there a way to... Milling. Feathered Friends. Let's move this right there. And the last one in this stack will be walls, of course. All right, so we'll move this to right there. This is very, very good for, in my opinion, <clears throat> new players. Well read. Played a couple little things on Arena. Legion. Uh, nothing too major on Arena yet. Minions. And we will we go over what all these have in them. Alright, and dragons. Sorry about that. That one previously was archaeology. Opened a little bit off camera. This one's a little bit weirder because there's like two packages inside of them. So I'm like, let's just get open one at a time. Rogues. <clears throat> Sorry about that, guys. Yeah. We've got goblins. Last 
quickly. For the second row, we've got Under the Sea. All right. And now to do the last one. You know what? Let's just flip these over like that. That might help us speed it a little long, a little bit more. Yeah. Well, let's see if I can even open them, right? Yeah. So I know that today is the release day for paper-wise. I know I saw some people getting them early and whatnot, spell casting. But me, got mine the day of another Legion. Well, I guess we'll see if uh, if they are um, the same or not. Devilish. Gotta get there. Another goblins. Another vampires. Above the clouds. Lands. Weird. <coughs> Landfall triggers, maybe. And lastly, we've got Well Red. All right, so we've got a couple that are the same. Me, personally, I think I want to grab those ones and see if they are exactly the same. So let's see. Well Red. Um, vampires, Goblins, and Legion, if I believe correctly. So let's see. We've got Goblins. There we go. All right. Then we've got ourselves Legion and Well Red. I'm just gonna stack everything else in one stack, I think. The only there's vampires. And we'll open those ones last. Alright. Let's see. Let's try two well reds and two vampires. First things first, the well reds. Alright, first one up. Like I said, I know it's meant to be played and you immediately just go, oh, there's a deck. But that is not what we're doing. <laughs> oh, look at that. There we go. Even though this has been reprinted, what, twice now? This is the second printing, or the second reprint of it. Because you did have the uh, mystery booster and then now this. So we're going to stick our rare right there. We got Kraken's. Bookcase, Opt, reprinting Opt again, and these lands, these lands, now those, those are going to be very, very nice, especially in Commander, turn one, you drop one of those bad boys, alright, <clears throat> now, next one, I'm just going to, I'm just going to take these, you know, all apart, just cuz, alright, I don't think I'm really going to be doing much of uh, using these. So, well, red and... Oh, they are very different. Oh, would you look at that? Orm's Archive Keeper. If you were to draw a card while your card has no cards, or while your library has no cards in it, instead, put five counters on it. So I guess you don't lose. You just keep stacking it. Well, that's nice. <clears throat> Everything else seems to be the same. It's just, the only thing they change is the rare. What'd you look at that? All right. Well, that's going to be nice. All right, we're just going to set everything else off to the side because I don't think it really matters. In my opinion, we're looking at the rares, mythics, hopefully. <clears throat> hopefully a couple. We got, uh, huh, Vito. Look at you, look at that, Vito. All right. And... Ooh, actually, I stand corrected. That's also a good card. Blood Artist? Psh, heck yeah. <clears throat> I didn't know exactly what was in this. The more. Just stick that right there. And nothing else really to be at. Alright. Well, I am going to set these all off to the extra stuff off to the side. We're not needing it. Probably set them off by color for me. Vampires, we get another veto. Well, that's, that's at least decent. And 
Oh. Does this one not come with a, uh, I guess not, I guess they are a slightly different. What did this one? <clears throat> oh, okay. So there's an uncommon that seems to change because this one had a blood artist. The first one did, and then this one has a blood host. Huh. All right. Don't you like that? All right, and then we've got Legion still and Goblins to do. So, I guess that means that if you can get two of the same, then, well, then you still get something different. Glorious Anthem. I had that last night. It wasn't... Mm. Ooh, release the dogs. I will set that off to the side because I personally actually have a Ren and Siri Insufferable Commander. And it has been working wonderfully. I've been playing every once in a while and get some, you know, online matches going. Not over a Rio, unfortunately. But, ooh, there we go. Blessed Sanctuary. Yeah, there we go. I wanted this card specifically for Commander, actually. Save your doggo. Yeah, goodest of the good boys. Huh. Whoa, actually, whoa, let me go back. Let me look, re look into here. Because that just had a path to exile. Did we miss one? No, we did not. We didn't miss it. Oh, well. Well, then, path to exile in that one. That one is. It's a very nice card. And there's the land. All right. Let's refix that pile. Okay. Last up are the Gobbins. All right. I'm hoping to get the legendary Gobbin. But. Unos. All right. We got ourselves Gob Chieftain. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. This one came with two rares? Goblin Goon? I would have to check the other ones. Volley Veteran. Haha. <laughs> Shocks. Bogart. Goblin. The Bluffs. I'm gonna be sticking these anyways into a nice good old conspicuous snoop. Let me double check. Make sure we didn't miss any rares or anything on here. <laughs> I could have sworn that it only came with one. Might have been, uh, might have been wrong about that. Let me see. Let me see. Uh, nope, no, those are lands. Uh, nothing rare in these ones. All right. Well, nothing so far, and I know that over here. Though, I mean, the only difference is the blood host. <clears throat> Yeah, Blood Host was the main difference in that one. All right, well. Well, I guess we'll see if the goblins just get two rares or not. All right, we got ourselves a ah, Krenko. <clears throat> yeah, no, Goblin Lore. Oh, well, would you look at that? Re they reprinted Goblin Lore. Huh. We'll stick that right there off to the side. Yeah, that's a good old draw four cards and discard three at random. Got ourselves just some normal stuff. Out number, boom. All right. Oh yeah. Archaeology. Okay. And, oh hey, look at that. We got our uh, promo. So look at that. We got our promo and a normal style. Dreamstone Hedron. Wow, that's nice. Aether Spellbomb's also nice. Lightning Core Evacuator. Hmm. Nice good old land. Dual colored land. What is this? What color was this? Blue? Blue and artifacts, and yeah, let's stick that right there. In the blue. I like to color coordinate them, so I didn't know whether to put it under artifacts for, for the colorless portions or 
Uh, minions, we've got... Ho, ho, ho! Phyrexian Tower. Now that's a nice card right there. Eliminate? Yeah. A nice instant that can destroy a target creature or planeswalker of three or less mana cost. Very nice. Party, another of that. Ooh, these are some nice lands too. Alright, we are gonna go with the walls next. Alright. Come on, walls we got. Ho oh, ho ho! First mythic. Alright, if I believe correctly, this is our first mythic. We've got the Towering Titan. One of the newer cards. Let's see if that focuses right. I don't think it's going to that much. But it says whenever it enters the battlefield, it gets X plus one plus one counters, where X is total toughness of other creatures you control. Sack a creature with defender, all creatures gain trample until the end of turn. For six. Oh hey. And you get a nice uh nice little rare. Would you look at that? Oh. oh. Actually, you know what? I might leave this one together. This one uh, let's actually put this one back because I've got a uh, Doran the Siege Tower deck that I might need uh, might need this. So we're just going to leave that and we're going to put its thing back on. Actually, you know what? Yeah. We'll go like that. Let's make sure that we only got rares so far. Rare... Rares? Only rares. Alright. Under the Sea. Now, the video might take a little bit longer, and that's my bad, but, and the whale. Hey, Wyoming Wave. Serpent, starfish. All right, got the nice threatening isle. Turtle. Rogues. Now, to be honest, this thing said rogues. Now I'm hoping, personally, I'm hoping for a tiny little rogue. Nope, we got ourselves a Gonti. Oh, Gonti. And a Thief's Guild Enforcer. Turnkey. Oh, what do we got? oh hey, Luna's Blackguard. Stab wound, nice. And another thriving more. And that was it. And I was hoping for, what's his name? Uh, Tiny Bones? I was hoping to get him. He's, uh, he seems to be like a fun commander to run. And we've got ourselves a Steel Plume Marshal. Whenever it attacks, it'll flying creatures you control. Get plus two, plus two with flying. Oh, creatures you control with flying. Get plus two, plus two. And they... Here we go. Uh -huh. Nice planes. Okay. Milling? Milling. Yeah. Let's go with that one. All right. We got... Hey, <laughs> there we go. Now there's our Miller right there. There's our second mythic, and it is a good one. He says, whenever an opponent would mill one or more cards, they mill twice that many cards instead. I think that goes along with that, uh, ooh, Sphinx's, or Teferi's tutelage, and not Sphinx's tutelage. It also goes with Sphinx's tutelage as well. Uh, what's his name? There's that. Um... Goes really, really well with, uh, I don't know, it mills an opponent's deck. Half their deck will be gone. Alright, we're gonna go for dragons. Alright, and we've got ourselves a little less dragon queen, and we get ourselves a Garuk. Correctly, yeah. Draonic Roar, Whelp, Hatchlings, and there is the Thriving Bluff. 
All right. You know what? We're gonna make. We're gonna make those three our last ones, right? Yeah. Let's make it like that. Okay. Like to hopefully get an actual Baruch in there. We'll see. All right. Heavily armored. We've got Hey Micaeus. There's our third mythic, and it is good too. It is great for cleric builds and plus one plus one counter builds. You put a plus one plus one counter on him, remove one, and put one on each other creature you control. That's really good. Supply runners. There's some doggos for me. I love the doggos. We've got oh ho ho, trusty retriever. Look at that. Whenever he enters the battlefield, choose one. Put a plus one, plus one counter on him or return target artifact or enchantment from your graveyard to your hand. Have to look at that. That's a good doggo. I have to include that in the deck. I don't even think I've got that yet. Ooh, that was a, that's a good place. All right. <clears throat> Spirits. All righty. Yeah. Got spirits, which means we've got a shackle geist. Well, that seems kind of anticlimactic that they just did that, but hey. And we got a rattle chains, <laughs> shackle geist, rattle chains. I'm pretty sure it's just the same one. He's just rattling his chains on this one. He's got those shackles on, and he just starts rattling. <clears throat> All right, we got depart deckhand. Whole bunch more of these spirits. That thriving Isle, that's a really, really nice. All right, we got Above Cloud. Above the Clouds. All right. Hey, hey, there we go. There's another good commander. Gara, the Great Glass Spinner. Creatures you control have, whenever this creature becomes the target of a spell or ability for the first time each turn, counter that spell or ability. But just know that does work for your own spells. Okay? Or abilities. Now. Flying and 2-2 two -two for 3 mana? I think you're doing pretty good at that point. Alright, we got ourselves it's just a whole bunch of flyers to detain them. So you can just go, boop, Kiara. Yeah, that's what that looked like. Alright, give me one second, I gotta straighten these up. We are down to, what is it, five left? Five of these pack things left? They're pretty decent. And I think that, uh... I think whenever I am able to get a little bit more, I might try to see if I can't drafter with a couple friends see how it works devilish and we got a a taunter <laughs> with controlling their creatures some devils a whole bunch of devils which made it weird that the goblin was in there but yeah, who am I to disagree right hey, another lightning core thriving bluff and that's it Spell casting, then we've got three more after this. Alright. Spell casting, we've got a mythic number, what is this? Mythic number four? Yeah, mythic number four. It is a molting yire, or gyre, yire, whatever you want to call it. But it will deal X damage. To each creature and planeswalker you don't control. Where X is the number of instants and sorcery cards in your graveyard. So cast a whole bunch of cheap spells. Then for six mana, boom. And it's a sorcery though. That is that is a downfall to it. But, like it says, double cast right here. Just keep double casting, fork, um, all kinds of things. Thriving Bluff again. And, oh, that was my bad. I just stacked all that over there. Good thing they go like that. Alright, last three. We've got Lance. And Lance, 
hopefully means landfall, which hopefully just in reality, I hope that this is Crater of Behemoth, but that's just me. And we've got, it's a Hydra. It is a Mythic. Uh, can't deny that, but it says whenever it is a star star for six mana, reach, power, and toughness are equal to the number of lands you control. Whenever it enters the battlefield, you may search your library for a land, put it onto the battlefield tapped, then shuffle your library. Let's see what you get. Cultivate, Wiccan Druid, more Hydras, uh, Zendikar's Royal, Canopy, Elemental Uprising, uh, Follid for more lands, The Grove to make lands. But how many lands do they actually give you, though? They give you one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight lands total. Ooh. Man, yeah. that would be a thing. All right, let's go with Garuk. And then, if I believe correctly, Chandra was our first pack we opened up, if I believe correctly, but I could be wrong. So we'll go with that last. That was the first Planeswalker. Garuk, and we got Garuk Unleashed. I think that might be why he dropped a little bit, but he is our next mythic that we got. And... Let's stack this a little bit better. And we also got Garuk's Harbinger. For rare. Bush Strider, Hunter's Insight. Garuk's Uprising. Ranger's Guile is a good one. Most people don't think about that. Especially the counter spells. Ooh, it gives you a forest? Oh, that's nice. I guess because they only give you M21 cards in this one. What did they not have any uh, ones for this? Oh, they do. Oh, okay. And last but not least, Chandra. Well, if I believe correctly, this is probably just going to be regular Chandra, but uh, it is regular. Chandra, Heart of Fire, as well as her Incinerator. Hireling. Oh. Chandra fell a little bit out of the camera. There we go. Filing flames. Young Pyromancer, so when she was young, maybe. But that's the whole uh, thing about that. They got something going on about it. It's theories. And we got ourselves a mountain. And that's, that is it. Overall, I don't think we did too bad. We did get a couple, uh, couple of them. We did get the, uh, the good old mill card, good old mill commander, and then uh, anything else realistically that's new. Uh, the reprint of Kara. The uh, what else? The reprint, Phyrexian Tower, the Scholar. Even though we've got that one already with the promo. This goon, the blessed sanctuary. Unfortunately, we got two more vetoes, but hey, veto, nonetheless. We did get a rustic study, and we did get an Orm's archive keeper. So we do get to draw five cards, and it's really good, especially in Commander, because it says discard three cards with different names and draw five cards. Hmm, Commander, would you look at that? As long as they're not all islands, I mean, you'll be all right. You just start drawing a whole bunch of cards. And in my opinion, if you have him and him, and where is that card? What is it? Where is it? Where is it? Teferi's Tutelage. Boom. You got your nice, nice little combo right there. Alrighty, well, thank you guys for joining me. It was a little bit more intriguing to open this up. Maybe next time I'll actually get to play against somebody. But, hope you guys uh, enjoyed it. Saw what came out of uh, one box of Jumpstart. Hope to see you back again.